Hi, my name is Alexander Smith, and I'm an Applications Engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the default units of a SOLIDWORKS file. First, I'm going to create a new part file using the default template. Once I'm in the new part file, I can see my unit quick select in the bottom right corner, showing that my current units are set to IPS or inch pound second. Let's say I'd like to use millimeters and grams instead. I simply have to click on the unit quick select and change the units to MMGS or millimeter gram second. Now my current part file is using the correct units, but if I'd like to change the default units to be millimeter gram second, I need to complete one more step, which is to save this as a new part template file. To do that, I'll go to my file pull down menu, select save as, give the file a name like MMGS part, and then set the save as type to part templates or PRT DOT and save it. Now, when I create a new file, I can select the new MMGS part template that I've just created. And as we can see here, the units for this part file are set to the template's defaults of millimeter gram second. And so we're done here. The example I've shown was changing the default units for a part file. However, the exact same methods can be used for an assembly or drawing file in SOLIDWORKS as well. And that's going to be the end of this video where I showed you how to change the default units of a SOLIDWORKS file. With this information, you'll be able to easily and confidently set up new document templates with varying default units to suit your needs, whatever they may be. Until next time, thanks for watching.